Hey, what's going on? Tony from HowToBuyAndSellYourCars.com. Hope all is well. And I wanted to make this video um, because I've been getting a lot of questions also from new members of the F1 Auto Cash Formula, How to Flip Cars for Profit course. And like the people are getting confused still. Tony, what do I do with the paperwork, right? With the title, the registration, the insurance, and all this info uh, that I have to fill out or do when I flip cars for profit, what do I do, right? And there is a, a simple answer and a gray answer and a illegal answer, okay? And don't take the information, don't misconstrue all the information that I'm gonna give you toward uh, a negative way or a scammy way or anything. I'm not an attorney. I'm just gonna give you my opinion um, from that comes from experience, hearing what other people do, uh, maybe doing some of those things in the past, you know, my way. And um, I'm gonna give you the, the blunt truth about how this all goes about, all right? So there's a legal limit when flipping cars, all right, in, in every state. Some states are like, you know, if you sell more than five cars, uh, you're going to have to start paying taxes or get a dealer's license and uh, just a whole bunch of ring around, okay? Some places, a little bit higher and easy to get titles, quicker to get titles. California, I know. Hawaii, I know. You get titles the same day. I'm pretty sure California is like that. And um, you literally go in, buy a car, find a, a good deal off some old person or uh, off Craigslist somewhere, you get a good deal on a car, then you can basically get that registration and get it registered under your name and get the title that day, right? Some places, some states you could do that. Some places it'll take two weeks, three weeks for it to get in the mail, okay? And some people are like, what do I do in the meantime? Like if I do it the right way and register, put it under my name, what do I do in the meantime? Well, what you could do in the meantime is keep looking for deals and pick up another car, or if you don't have the money and you're get, just getting started, just keep doing your regular job, do your regular day job, keep saving money so you can have more money to flip for profit, right? So that's what you do, and when you get the title, then you're ready to sell it, all right? And some people are like, well, what about the insurance? Just switch the insurance over, just say, hey, I, got, I bought a new car, I want to put it on insurance and put it on insurance. And when you sell it, you sell it. Just say, hey, I ended up selling the car. All right, and now some insurance companies, right, no matter what car you buy, you're automatically covered for that car for 30 days, even if you don't basically change the title to your name, right? As long as it's a blank title and you still have the cars in your possession and you, maybe you're driving it around, right? It's actually still covered for 30 days from when you make that purchase if the date is on the title. Okay, so keep that in mind. I'm not going to reveal all the information here, but that is a strategy that we talk about more in deep, you know, more in depth in the course, um, which is going to give you more ideas. And the other question was, Tony, you know, what about basically not getting the, the car registered under your name and just flipping the title. How do you get sellers to leave the title blank, right? And this is where it kind of gets gray, all right? I'm not saying every seller you talk to when negotiating is gonna do that, but if you talk to them the right way, some of them will let you take the title blank, right? They just sign it off and leave the date. And I would say 50% of the time you can get away with that, all right? Now, and, and some questions are like, well, what if the seller doesn't, you know, doesn't want to do it? What do I do? Then you don't do it. I mean, you take your chances, right? You gamble. It's gambling. You gamble your role. You throw it out there. It's a numbers game, right? Some people are going to say yes. Some people are going to say no. You just take what you got and get to the next level, right? Eventually, you want to build up to where, Maybe you want to get a dealer's license or you want to go big time. But when starting out, why go crazy? Why get a dealer's license, spend all this money, go through the hassle, right? If you are just wanting to make a few extra 10000 20000 a year, just on the side, finding good deals, sprucing them up for people and putting a win-win situation out there in the market, right? So that's another strategy. Um, and we cover all of these things a little bit more in depth in the course and I kind of reveal more I just don't want to put out too much uh, out in public here 
Um, but that's kind of the idea. Uh, you could do it that way. You could, you know, do the title thing that way, get it registered. And the other question was, how many have you registered under your own name, right? And got away with it. Well, honestly, I have um, a lot of friends in the dealer industry, okay? And the dealer and they got their dealer's license. And they say, Tony, if you do it under the radar way where you just get them registered under your name and you flip them like that, 10, 20 a year, really, really not gonna really give you an issue, okay? They just make it some, some big thing where it's an issue. But if you get your dealer's license, this is what he told me, that's when they really start to keep an eye on you, okay? So it's, they say it's better to stay under the radar. And if you get your dealer's license, they really keep an eye on you a little bit more. You know, they, they watch everything you do um, and it's like that. And this is my friend, my friend told me uh, straight from the horse's mouth. All right, and not just one friend, a couple other guys out there. So just take this information slightly. And if you want to flip cars for profit, just on your spare time, why get a dealer's license? You know, I mean, what's wrong with being a car fanatic, finding a good deal, fixing it up, doing what you got to do to it, and maybe a couple months down the road, you want to sell it, right? Maybe you want to get rid of it. What's the big deal? I mean, if you look at it from that perspective, what's the big deal, right? You're putting a little bit of work in it. You're getting the car on the road, looking nice. You're fixing whatever minor fixes that need to be done. And you put on, I mean, you're, you're serving the community by doing that, by, by creating win-win situations, by taking a beater that maybe an old lady had that didn't know what was wrong with the car, with the engine, and you did something, you fixed it, you got it running great, car is clean, and you sold it and made a profit. I mean, that's business. That this is this is the foundation of what America was built upon, right? The capitalism. So what the hell is wrong with that? If you want to go out, flip a couple of cars a year, and as far as taxes part, if if it's all cash, right? You, I'm not a tax attorney. I'm not telling you what to do or not to do. I got disclaimers all over my website, but I can't tell you to claim any of that income. That's not me. That's up to you to do if you want to do that, right? It's. I can't tell you to do that. So that's my take on that. I hope this kind of cleared it up a little bit. Straight truth. Uh, again, it's my opinion, right? I'll talk to you soon. If you want to learn how to flip cars for profit, how to find the best deals, and how to really make money on the buy, right? Because the most important thing is making money on the buy and where to find the cars and how to inspect them. Once you know those couple of things, selling them at a no-brainer deal for people to the public where they see them like wow it's it's a little undervalued but still you're making money on it it's a win-win situation if you want to learn how to do that flip a couple extra cars make a few thousand bucks pay off some bills pay for a vacation save up for college whatever you want to do you could absolutely do that so it's tony from how to buy and sell cars.com check out the website to learn more and i uh, hope this cleared it out have a good day bye